When people think of paleontology, they often think of dinosaurs and films like Jurassic Park. But we're digging deeper into the fossil record and putting together a more detailed understanding of prehistoric life than ever before, from things like pollen, algae and fungi, which are all examples of microfossils. My name's Dr Matthew McCurry and I'm the Curator of Paleontology at the Australian Museum and a lecturer at the University of New South Wales. We're starting an exciting new project based on fossils from a recent excavation in central New South Wales. We've got a huge number of microfossils and we need your help to put a date on them. When we excavate fossils, it can be difficult to know exactly how old they are or the environmental conditions that were around when these animals roamed the earth. But that got me thinking, if we put these fossils into a scanning electron microscope, what might we find? If we could find tiny fossils within these rocks, we could get a better understanding of the environment at the time. This gives us a deeper context of the environment or the age of the fossils that we're finding at these fossil sites. The Australian Museum is collaborating with the University of Canberra to launch Date a Fossil, an innovative citizen science initiative that lets you be a paleontologist from home. We've captured images of microfossils and uploaded them to our citizen science web portal, Digivox. Once you've registered on the site, we need your help to identify whether microfossils are present in these images and what type of microfossils they are. Citizen science is gaining momentum around the world and allowing people to engage with scientific processes. As a citizen scientist on the Date a Fossil project, you'll be working with the Australian Museum's renowned paleontology collection, where you'll actively contribute to our understanding of the ancient ecosystems of this land. Go to the Australian Museum's website and look for Date a Fossil to begin your journey as a citizen scientist.